What's up, Virgo? Welcome to your January 2019 Tarot Scope Tarot Reading Tarot Vibe. But this is Water Star Vibes. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It is always my pleasure to bring you these messages. This is a brand new year. It's so much exciting energy, so many shifts, so many portals opening. And Virgo, you are no different. You, um, a lot of you guys are stepping through the portal awakening uh trying new things having new things happen in your life major shifts minor shifts all these things are changing so to get you in the right frame of mind we're gonna do like we always do here right here on water star vibes we are going on a mind trip so you are in this amusement park now this is like the never-ending amusement park where your soul has been there for so long, ride after ride and, you know, tent after tent. It's just one never ending circus. And so you see that off in the far distance, there's this beautiful, wonderful land. Now you're down here and all of these rides are in the way, so you can't really see it that great, but you know that there's something more out there and you wonder, how do you get to this place? Well, one day you discover that there's this really big roller coaster that you can ride. And this roller coaster is special because one group of people on this roller coaster get off and they go to this specific exit. But others end up going right back to the amusement park. So it piques your curiosity one day. You get on this roller coaster and you're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to see where this other exit is. And unbeknownst to you, this was the roller coaster of nightmares. You get the shooting off in this roller coaster. It's twisting, it's turning, it's going all kind of directions. It's flying, it's doing all kind of stuff. And you screaming your head off. You ready to get off. You ready to quit. You ready to be done with it. Finally, it comes to an end. And you look at the person and they point to the direction of the carnival of the amusement park and you know you have to go right back to the amusement park so you're like Man. so you're like you know what i'm gonna get up the nerve now that i don't know what's like i didn't expect that let me do it again you do it again and it's even worse it's even more scary right back to the amusement park you go but you notice every time you're going through they're sending people to somewhere else some people make it through so one day you get on a roller coaster and you're like i'm gonna watch I'm gonna see why these other people are going to that other part. And you notice that the people who made it to the other part, they were calm, they were cool, and they were collective throughout the ride. Meanwhile, you were screaming your head off. You was kicking and screaming and fighting, all of that kind of stuff. So you were like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me see, let me, let me try that. So the next time you got on the ride, it was scary. You did some screaming, you did some kicking, you did some yelling, but at some point you would smooth it out. You would say, okay. <laughs> And you smoothed it out and you started to look around and you noticed that the more calm you were, the more you opened your eyes during the roller coaster ride instead of closing your eyes the whole way. You started to notice more and more pieces of this far off city that you had never seen before. And it was beautiful to you. So you get to the end of the ride and they like, nah, that kicking and screaming you did at the beginning. Go back. But you was all right with it because you're like, dude, I'm gonna get on again because I saw something that I never saw before. And it was so beautiful that I see it ain't no point in me kicking and screaming and doing all of that no matter how scary it gets because I want to see what that pretty city looks like. So you get on it again and this time you're like, all right, I'm going to keep my composure. So it gets scary, it's rocky, it's shaking, it's twisting, it's, it's turning. But the beauty of the parts of the city that you've never seen before is way more powerful. It outweighs the scary. So you keep looking, you keep calm, it's twisting, it's turning. But suddenly the ride did something they never did before. It slowed down. It smoothed itself out. Them twists, them turns, they stopped going so fast. And you had the whole city to look at. And it was so grand and so beautiful. Like it really like almost brought tears to your eyes because this was a brand new land you had never seen before. And it was so beautiful, far back as the eyes could see. And you was just like, man, this is so beautiful. And then that's when you realized, like it was so beautiful, you didn't even realize that the riot had calmed down. But then you noticed, man. Even the ride calmed down. You waited, You made it to the end of the ride, and this time, they pointed out to the new world. You had made it because you kept your composure, but it wasn't about keeping your composure. It was about why you kept your composure. 
because of the the beauty you found the beauty in the roller coaster and sometimes when you find the beauty in the hurt in the pain and the in the anxiety in the crazy and the drama that's where like the ticket to get off the roller coaster is that's where the ticket to get out of that never ending amusement park that's the ticket to get out to understand to see something different and when you calm down life calms down see that roller coaster represents life it's like life is crazy throw you in all kind of twists and turns and you can panic you can kick you can scream you can resist you can go against the flow all you want to but you're not going to be able to see all the other stuff that's available to you. If you're on a roller coaster kicking and screaming with your eyes closed, you're not going to be able to see. Because remember, if you're on a roller coaster, that's a huge platform. you up real tall. You can see a lot of stuff that you can't see from that perspective than just being on the ground. You have the opportunity to be at that traje trajectory. You need to take a look around so you can catch a glimpse of something real quick. Because that glimpse may inspire you. And once you calm down, the ride calms down, you make it to that other side. You make it off the roller coaster of life and you get to go enjoy something else. There's another side of drama. There's another side of chaos. There's another side of unrest. There's another side of anxiety. There's another side of depression. There's another side of worry. Another side of fear, another side of illusions. There's a whole nother side, a whole nother land that maybe you've never experienced before. It's a whole nother side of being broke. I mean, for some of you who are broke, but it's a lot of people who got money but don't have peace. You know what I mean? So it's a whole nother side, a whole nother world that you haven't seen or experienced yet that 2019 is offering up to you. And what a beautiful beginning right here in January to kick that thing off. So now's the time to get on the roller coaster ride and enjoy the view. Take all of the crazy chaos for what it was in 2018 and use it to enjoy your new perspective to get you off that crazy roller coaster of life and put you on something else. Some of y'all want to get on the roller coaster of love. Well, you gotta you gotta pass that test. That roller coaster of life is like a test. Like, can you can you get through this obstacle? Can you get through this fear? Can you get through this thing without kicking and screaming? Then you can get off, you can pass. Now, that is what I get. I hope you guys enjoyed that mind trip. Use that how it applies. So, we're going to jump into your reading. We're going to jump into these cards. I'll be using a fairy deck to get in tune with you guys' energy for January, which you can be focused on. Now, a lot of people like to hear about the relationship. You cross-watchers like to come see and make sure that your person is doing horrible in life and that they don't have any chances or opportunities. My thing is, I'm here to encourage to inspire and I'm here to look at the bright side okay I'm trying to get everybody on the bright side okay so if you don't like the bright side I'm sorry this may not be the channel for you however if you are looking to no matter what's going on look for at least some kind of silver line and look for some beautiful place in the sky that you've never seen before this is your channel okay so right here at the center of the reading we're focused on who release right away okay in traditional tarot this is the death card this is all that we're not kicking and screaming no more. We're not fighting no more. We're not resisting no more. We're going to release. We're going to let go. We're just going to trust. Okay. Some of you guys need to release things and people from 2018 or you've already done that. And that's why this is showing up now. This is like the present. Like you let people go in 2018 and now, you know, this is the transition. This is the, the, um, the transformation. This, like I said, is, uh, the death card in traditional tarot was all represents transformation. This is going from one state of being to the next. Okay, when someone passes on, they become a spirit. They were once a human being with flesh and now they are a spirit. Okay, it's transforming. There was a caterpillar and that caterpillar then became a butterfly. There was a change. There was a shift. And a lot of you guys are experiencing that shift right now. Uh, here we go. Let go of the past. An ending that makes way for new opportunities. So we getting off that that roller coaster. Time to move on. For some of you guys, this has been a crazy roller coaster relationship. For some of you guys, it's a job. It's coming to the end. Like, you know what? I can't do it no more. It's time to let go of a lot of things that have been um, causing you to be miserable. All right. Now, what's crossing it? Whoa, the Prince of Spring. So the Prince of Spring is all about a news or a little coming in. It's also about you taking charge or uh, doing some type of action work. OK, so it's releasing things that no longer serve you and things that are of the past. And it's taking a new action, a new grand step forward. OK, this is coming off of that roller coaster and knowing that you have something else out there that you can be doing. You've got a different city that you can embark in now. Listen immediate action 
a change you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. So for some of you guys who are letting go of a person or people, you're going to be letting them go and trading them in for a new set of people, a new leash on life. Like it is such a new beginning. Like I, I people in 2019, like regardless of what y'all feeling, if y'all be mad because some people get in the comments, that's not me. I'm not, I'm not going to be happy. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's how you feel. That's how you feel. But if you are ready to move on to something, the new like i said at the beginning the portal is open the gateways are open for people to walk through and really like change their life and all you have to do is like believe it and then go forward now these uh keywords charming self-confident passionate relentless some of y'all gonna get a second win all right now at the deep root of it all nine of winter so there was some anxiety that was focusing on all the worst case scenarios. Okay, this is once again kicking and screaming on that roller coaster. Okay, you um, not realizing or seeing why you have to ride this roller coaster over and over and over. All of these tests, all of these things that have been coming, all of these things that you needed to release. All you have to do is sit there and be still on the roller coaster, and that's how you get off. You go with the flow. No matter how crazy, no matter kicking and screaming, all of that is not going to help. Okay. And that causes anxiety, that causes you to be stressed, that causes you not to open your eyes and see the picture on that roller coaster. Now listen, unfounded fear, focusing on worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So some of y'all kicking and screaming on the roller coaster and it's not even that scary. Roller coaster be going 10 miles an hour and you, ah, ah, you know, losing your mind. Now take this how it applies to your life, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the car need an oil change. Now it's making noise. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Small little stuff that just keep adding up, adding up. And then it just seems like one big long roller coaster of twists and turns, you know? So in the recent past, two of spring. So some of you guys could have definitely been looking to start something after release. Um, this could have been also you guys finding like new partnerships and new people to work with. Um, this is about uh, like collabing and joining teams with like maybe another entity but it's like two um and when i say entity i don't mean like a spirit or something i mean two different companies or bodies coming together to create something new okay like a partnership uh merging companies together or merging your ideas together even if it's just two friends deciding like hey let's uh let's go start something together let's go start working out together whatever those are good collaborations okay let me read it to you a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity partnering with others who share your dreams great progress being made yes so like i said this is all about you collaborating with somebody um who can help propel you forward like even if it's just two of you guys because we got the two of springs like you don't need a whole bunch of people to start something okay it's just like we're two great minds coming together to merge something it's a beautiful thing like they say two great minds think alike so if you can just grab one other person whatever this endeavor is after letting go of people of the past who didn't work or situations that did not work then you can do this now of course we got on the board uh aries leo sagittarius energy and then we got aquarius libra gemini energy right here so those may be significant to you if not it just represents the energy like of passion and fiery energy go out there get get things done now in your head space ooh, four of springs so some of you guys are focused on love those who have released uh, love or partnerships or something like that you may be trading in one person like a Scorpio because this uh, release card is a Scorpio you may be releasing a Scorpio and finding a partnership a stable partnership with a uh, fire sign okay we got that Aries Leo Sagittarius on here three times and it may have been that Scorpio that was causing this anxiety holding you back making you go on that roller coaster over and over and over now of course these could be jobs co-workers people old friends frenemies and stuff um, and of course relationships whatever but you're looking for something stable okay something solid whether it be in business partnership i'm just saying a lot of partnership partnership because we got this two spring double that is four this listen be grateful for what you have it's much to be celebrated deep feelings of peace and happiness a content personal life so this could be marriage this could be business but something stable a lot of y'all just looking for something solid okay and it's nothing wrong with that because once you release all of this old stuff that was shaky that had you going through all of that chaos and the roller coaster stability is what comes next stability is uh, when they when they release you off that ride and they point in a different direction and this time you get to go somewhere else and experience something else it's gonna be stability stability is the other thing 
good love, happy love, real love, true love is the other thing, you know, for some of y'all. Um, your own business, self-employment was the thing on the other side of that roller coaster, you know? You're going to be experiencing that. True peace, true happiness was on the other side of that roller coaster when you made it through, okay? Now, in the near future, ooh, four of winters. So, some of you guys are going to be calming down. You're going to take some time to, like, relax. A lot of you guys, if you're coming out of something uh, deadly or not deadly, wow, I don't know why I said deadly, because some of y'all around some dream killers or you around something that's zapping your energy that will kill your dreams. Wow. Okay. Release. Death card in traditional tarot. Once again, once you release the dream killers, once you release the things that zap your energy, you are going to have to relax to regain that. So let's just say you uh, you got fired or you quit or you um, you you ended the relationship and it's over. Some of y'all going to take a moment to fall back and breathe. Rest, recover, relax. Get up out of this nine of swords, anxious energy, trying to see what's going to work, what's going to happen. Know that the energy in the portal to do your own thing is solid. Okay, it's going to be some stability and some solid energy. This is also the calm, calming down and re rejuvenating yourself and being cool throughout that roller coaster ride. This is the roller coaster ride slowing down. Okay, listen, set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for more sleep or vacation. Some of y'all just need to release whatever it is that's been holding you. Release 2018 and go on a vacation or take a nap. You did. Don't even worry about it. Whatever it is, you know what? Just forget it. Let me just go to sleep real quick and not even think about it. That's what some of y'all need to do. All right? Or pop in a good movie and just get out of your mind. You know? Just get out of whatever energy that is. All right? Now, what you fear? Oh, the high priestess. Oh, my God. I forgot who got this in the same position. But a lot of y'all are, like, really fearing that higher calling or that higher knowledge. Because you know what? Some of them may go against some stuff that you've always known. Like, your whole life, you may have felt... Uh, one way or known life to be a certain way, but you're going to have to release that. This is not just releasing people and stuff. This is old ways of thinking, old patterns, okay? This is coming to a, a new level of spirituality, okay? Think about a butterfly who was once a caterpillar. It's like this person, this caterpillar used to crawl, okay? Now all of a sudden you can fly. That's a whole nother world right there. Now you got to reevaluate life. Like, wait a minute. I can fly now. What am I supposed to do with that? You know, I can go so much further now. I can do so much more in less time now. Like, how does that happen? And a lot of that comes through spirituality. A lot of that comes through the power of manifestation, which a lot of people didn't know before. Now it's true, but now you have to step into it to let it happen. Now you're earth sign, so everything is practical right here, right there. Like what I see is what I get. It's right here. This is what I do, reality. So now you're going to have to jump into a whole other realm. You're going to have to get into that Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy right there. Some of that Aquarius Libra Gemini in the air or the emotions in the uh, subconscious department. All right, now, how are the see you? princess of spring so some of you guys are really creative now this is the prince of spring so it's looking like we have thing two things that match again once i told you there's two of spring two people coming together all right two people who are both passionate about what they're doing this could also be a love match um you just looks like like somebody who they could partner up with someone who has an amazing creative ability someone who is filled with talent in whatever department or area this is and they really want to work with you you are looking very work with the boo okay so let me read it it's time to go after your dreams do something that expands your horizon let your creativity take flight so you are definitely looking like some brand new i keep getting the partnerships okay keep getting the partnerships um we got let's see two two on the board that may be of significance pay attention to the twos this year this month we also got the four four right here pay attention to that these um fours break down into twos so that's two 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 i mean i'm just saying it may mean something to you may not i don't know how many of you guys are into numbers but i'm very much so into numbers we got this release card here is 13 one and three is four that's four 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 right here in the middle um, fours are all about stability. Like I said, y'all moving into a whole new realm of stability. Like that off of the roller coaster to the other side is a realm of stability. Now what you hope for? Ooh, two of summer. Again, we got the two, two, two. 
I'm telling y'all pay attention um, because right here we're talking about love again. So a lot of you guys are going to be finding that stability in love. A lot of you guys, this is like marriage and soulmate and this is just like that emotional fulfillment, okay? So some of you guys are either going to find that in a, like a life situation, you're going to find that on the other side of the roller coaster there's true love and for the others of you guys it's going to be like true love of like your passions and your dreams and the stuff that you really wanted to do in life. Listen, falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone forgiveness and the resolution of a problem don't give up your relationship can be healed so for a lot of you guys it's all about taking the time to reflect on yourself like who you are what you've done uh 2018 after releasing a lot of things that no longer served you and then deciding you know who is going to best serve you now this is uh believe it or not resting and laying down makes your vibration faster vibrate higher even though it may seem contradictory to each other. It does. Um, so doing all of that is going to help you attract the things that you want. So let's move on to the final outcome. Eight of Autumn. I don't know why I felt like that was coming. But um, the Eight of Autumn is all about work. It's all about getting money. It's all about business coming in. So it's like, yes, I want you to focus on love and all of that. But I'm really seeing like the portal for you guys opening is all about like... Uh, partnerships and money and creating something solid with other people um, who are new or other partnerships that have been solid and proven to work in the past. Now, this is the only time your energy has come up in this entire reading. And as it's befitting, after all of this release, after this uh, taking the time to rejuvenate yourself, after brushing off 2018, if it wasn't that great for you, you got great things coming, money. Consider it. Now here, do more research before proceeding. Education in the forms of seminars, going back to school, apprenticeship, excellent craftsmanship, and long-term projects. Now how do you create long-term projects? Well, you are going to be creating long-term um, business associations long-term stable foundations when it comes to um, people that you can trust people who are going to be there for um, the long term people you can mess with the long way all right so that's your energy when it comes to money there is money in this portal there's money on the other side so if you're looking for business um, new passionate creative pursuits there's rest on the other side all right all of that's on the other side of that roller coaster. Calm down. Go with the flow. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, the magician. Yes, the magician. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be successful. You need the right people, you can manifest that. You need the research, the research and the resources, you can do that. You need the education in the background, you can do that. You you need um to believe though. You need to get off that roller coaster because as you get off the roller coaster, boom, there, there you are. That's how you stand. That's how you look. And you're ready to embark on a new adventure. It's a brand new land. 2019 is a brand new land for a lot of you guys. You're going to get to experience something new and walk in a new way. But the main key is like belief. All right, and also rest for some uh, a majority of you guys. You're gonna need some rest to do this after coming out off that roller coaster, okay? Because it's like it's still beautiful that you see the bigger picture and you see how wonderful and grand it really is. But when you get off that roller coaster, okay, whoo, my legs a little wobbly, you know, I'm feeling a little funny, a little dizzy, all right? But I'm gonna get myself together and then boom, I'm in this new land. I'm doing this new thing, okay? So that is what I get for you. I wish you guys nothing but the best this year. We elevate and come on up, rise and ascend with everybody. We're doing this together. We all go to a new platform, so get in tune with it, okay? If you need a personal reading, hit me at waterstarvibes at gmail.com. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button. Um, hit the like if this resonated with you. Leave me a comment. I appreciate you guys so much, and I will see you guys for your January mid-month.